As a public defender, Judge Karen fought for her client's rights. She was elected to the bench because she believes in doing the right thing. I'm very passionate about helping people, period. Sometimes life pulls you from up here to down here to teach you a lesson, and you're in a valley right now. There are lessons in this valley. I hope you learn from them. Objective, independent justice. You can always turn your life around. If you keep walking, you can overcome whatever circumstances you're facing. This is Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Michael Adams is suing his co-worker, Rodney Tillman, in the amount of $1,000. Mr. Adams claims he was injured during a work retreat and says Mr. Tillman is to blame. Mr. Tillman claims he panicked during the team building exercise and says he unintentionally struck the plaintiff. All right, Mr. Adams, you're suing Mr. Tillman for $1,000 in medical expenses as a result of a personal injury. Is that right? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, and how do you know the defendant? We work together at a tech company. Okay, and what do you do there? We specialize in technology and parts, motherboards. Oh, parts. And, yeah, parts. Okay, how long, you say you've been doing that how long? For three years. Okay, and what do you do there? I do SEO, uh, search engine optimization. Uh, that works uh, for ranking sites on Google and uh, Bing, uh, Yahoo. So were you, were you prior to this, were you friends at work? No, no. we were not. No. Um, definitely not. W what was the relationship like at work? It was cordial. Uh, sometimes dis disagreements occurred, uh, things of that nature. Um, it was not cordial. I was very uncomfortable the entire time. Um, I was comfortable. Exactly. Um, you shouldn't be that comfortable at work playing loud music, being loud, uh, being ratchet. It's playing loud music? You're allowed yeah. to play loud music? I work in a cubicle, man. My music can not reach that decibel that he's clearly stating it has. Did you guys have a fight at work? No. No, ma'am. I'm way more professional than that. Okay. So you ended up going on some sort of retreat with some other employees. Is that that's, right? That's right. Whose idea was that? Well, my friends came up with it at work. Uh, it was more of a group activity. It was outside of work, uh, okay. but nobody uh, really came up with it. It was more of a group thing. Okay, and how many people went on this retreat? A dozen. A dozen of you, and where was the retreat? The retreat was at a lake, not too far from my office. Okay, mm -hmm. and this was an overnight camping thing? It was. So did you like camp outside? We camped outside, we got there Friday you night. You had tents? Set up, set up with tents, okay. bonfire, everything. You know. And how long was the retreat supposed to be, for a weekend? It was just for a day and a half. Okay, so, so Friday, one night. Yeah, one night. Okay, mm -hmm. and so who planned the activities for the retreat? Janet, an associate we work with named Janet. Is Janet here? Janet's not here. Oh, okay. So Janet said, hey guys, let's go on a camping trip. Mm -hmm. You have been on a camping trip before? I never have. That was I, your first I don't time? do camping, yeah. I'm okay, a scared. and you? I've camped before. Okay, so what happened on the camping retreat? We got there on Friday, we set up, we assimilated into the campgrounds. Friday night, we all gathered around and got to know each other a little bit better. Okay. Into Saturday, right. we had activities. Okay, for Friday night, what, did anything go on between you two? Did you get closer? Did you communicate? Anything happened with you two on Friday? As per usual, I stayed clear of uh, this gentleman. Okay, so I, what, I, ha what happened between the two of you? What happened between the two of us was there was a trust fall activity. What's a trust fall? A trust fall activity is an activity that people who are not too familiar with each other, get around and do usually at camps, and it requires somebody to get up on a ledge or a bench and fall back. Oh, with the hope that the person's gonna mm -hmm. catch you? I never catch understood them. why with the people hope. did that. Right, right. see? Right. With the hope. Right. right. Okay, no so hope. you two got paired up in a trust fall. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, whose idea was that? I suggested. Janice? No, it wasn't Janet's, it was, it was mine. I suggested okay. it to Rodney. I okay. thought that it would be good for us right. to get to know each other a little bit better. So after. you thought it was a great idea. Right. So you were going to fall into his arms? Vice versa. No, I, I was going to fall uh, into his arms. Oh, you were going to fall into his arms? Yes, That's right. Okay. Um, and this is all, uh, in my opinion, we have been having issues the entire weekend. Like uh, what? We had a, a dodgeball game um, that we did. It was supposed to be in good fun. Right. He over here uh, focused on me and continuously pelted balls at me. Your right. Honor, that was all in good spirit of the game of dodgeball, and right. not only did I target him, I targeted other associates as well. You mean hitting well. them with the ball? Uh -huh. Yes, that's right. Okay. That's right. Okay. Well, what I, and what else happened? Uh, besides that, he was very aggressive. I mean, the whole dodgeball thing made me feel very uncomfortable. That's right. the game. I never wanted to even show up to uh, this event, but I did because I was pressured into it with the hope that 
I would be caught with the hope that I wouldn't be injured right. d during a dodgeball game that's supposed to be well, good if fun. if that had happened, why would you trust him in a trust fall? Because, you know... Uh, Thank you, it, Your Honor. I'm sorry? Uh, the reason why I trusted him was because there were other people there and we were being watched. I didn't think that he would uh, act like that in front of a group of people, but I was wrong. So everybody's like in a circle to watch the trust fall? Yes. Uh, now, but before you did it, other folks did it, or were you the first? There was one person ahead of me. Okay, so tell me about this fall. So this fall happens, he's geared up to go, and it's his turn. He gets up on the ledge, it's his turn to fall. Right. So I'm standing there, getting right. ready to catch him, and uh -huh. as Janet explained... What time of day and night? This was about 3.30 p.m., He's getting ready to fall. I'm ready. He's ready. Right. He falls, and then he has his arms out. Mid Is that how you're supposed to fall? That's how you're supposed oh, yes. to fall, with okay. your arms out. Right. Now, mid-fall, something occurred in the air where he had this spasm attack and winds up hitting me in the face. And then from there, right. from there, I fall, and then he falls on top of me, and I suffer and sustain a minor concussion. No, oh, please. Coming up on Supreme Justice. You show me how he fell back. Don't fall back now. I'm not going to fall back, Yana. Okay. He fell back like And then something happened. And this arm went up and hit me in the face. Right. I fall. He falls on top of me, and my head is concussed into the ground. And later... Y'all were just in the room playing music loud. Yeah. Baby, do I look like I was just born yesterday? Do I look like that? <laughs> Closed captioning provided by... If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Supreme Justice is back with the case of Michael Adams, who is suing Rodney Tillman for medical expenses. So what happened in the fall? Uh, so what happened was I fell back as uh, the game is instructed. Uh, this gentleman. Well, tell me the instructions. So the instruction is uh, you're supposed to uh, trust the person behind right, you in, or, in order to catch you. Right. So I put my arms out like this, and right. then I fell back. Uh, and how? What's the distance between the two people? We're. Um, it was on two a. Two or three feet. You don't have to do the, the fall. Yeah. But let me see. You <laughs> show me how you two were situated. Okay. okay. So, if the bench is here, and he, he's about uh, a little higher, about here, went like so, right? And he's okay. keeping mind. I'm not gonna do it on, again. Keep in no, mind, no, he's on a pedestal. Yeah, no, he keep in mind, he's okay. on a pedestal. Wait, I, okay, so he's up on a pedestal. Uh, How high off the ground is the pedestal? About two feet. Oh, just two feet off. It wasn't. Okay, so stand in front of him. So you're up on the pedestal. Yes. Okay, do you say I'm about to fall? There Make was a sure countdown. you catch me. Oh, it's a countdown. Yes. So how does the countdown go? Three, two, one. Okay, who, who did the count? I'll Janice. Do the show. <laughs> you, you know she did. Yeah. And she she in control. Okay, so so just three, two, one, and you whoop and went back. Okay. No, I ain't like this. Okay, then now, the arm uh, started yeah, flailing I, and I, I get hit in the face. I want you to switch spaces. And then you show me how he fell back. Don't fall back now. I'm not gonna fall back okay. now. He fell back like this. And then something happened. And this arm went up and hit me in the face. Right. I fall. He falls on top of me, and my head is concussed into the ground. Okay. Okay, you can go back to your places. So what do you think happened when you took the fall? Um, I clearly didn't trust him. He wasn't able to grab me in the proper way. When you, someone falls back... You mean back, you lost it once he touched you? I lost it once I wasn't uh, appropriately uh, grabbed. So you didn't think he grabbed you right? I was going to continue to fall. Right. You thought so he... So I had to break my fall. I I don't understand why you would have done this with him in the, be the, in the beginning. Well, the Just because there are other people around. I mean, you wouldn't even, look at all these people around. No, and, and you wouldn't do it here. But the, the thing is, I wouldn't do it here with him again, because I know right. how he is now. Right. But the thing is, uh, we were paired together by random uh, right. pairing. So I didn't want to be the one to be like, oh, well, You're I right. know I don't like him. May I, may, I, may I say something? It's less about the individual. It's more about the action right. and the activity Did you, in home. So okay. you, didn't even get to do, is, you didn't even get to do a trust fall. I didn't have that opportunity. So they, so they got you to the hospital or what? Yeah, an associate drove me to the hospital. I was, at, I was assessed by a medical expert who then Good. proceeded to okay, inform me. Okay, let me see what you got for okay. evidence now. Mm -hmm. I guess you don't have a doctor or anybody here. No, not present. So you brought in the intake papers from the hospital? That's correct, Your Honor. A CAT scan, a head injury kit for $20. I don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. Nobody does. No. And two weeks of recovery and bed rest. 
My whole weekend was so shot. So your deductible was $1,000. That's, that's correct. And that's what you're asking him for. That's correct. Well, it seems to me that if you engage in a trust fall activity, then you basically are accepting that anything could happen. I mean, I think it's a dangerous thing to do. Somebody could mm -hmm. panic, like he seems like he might have panicked. Mm -hmm. um, you should have brought Janice in here, because I really would <laughs> like to hear Janice's side. But I, you know, I think you just assumed the risk of what you did. Suppose he was too heavy. Suppose when you caught him, he mm -hmm. hit you in the face and, and busted your lip. You know, anything could happen. It's like if we both agree to play baseball, and, or basketball is a better one, and we both go for the hoop and somebody gets knocked down, and you can't get turned around and sue him because we base... <laughs> I'm just saying I agree. <laughs> Your Honor, due to the You're unforeseen knowledge, circumstances... I, I'm saying, <laughs> I'm sensing, no, the unforeseen I'm circumstances... I'm not arguing with different. you. I'm explaining mm -hmm. this to you. Mm -hmm. So you can't then get injured and say, oh, no, I'm hurt now. You got you to gotta pay. You both agreed to play? and you take the consequences. The whole purpose is maybe you won't trust the other person mm -hmm. so something could go wrong, and it did in this case. So I guess the relationship at work hasn't gotten any better. Of no, course it's not. not. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, he sent out an email, uh, not only to myself, but to everyone at work, uh, CCing my boss and all my coworkers. I did. Uh, yeah, uh, I did. basically demanding I did. Uh, that I paid him for his injuries. Okay, well, that's not happening. At least it's not happening in court. Mm -hmm. What happens at your job, that's between the two of you. I'm ready to rule. Judgment for the defendant. Good luck to both of you. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim has been denied. You know, if you suffered a concussion, I would have paid your medical bill. <laughs> I guess you're a better person than me. Coming up. I tried to get in, but it had been deadbolted. Deadbolted. We were listening to music, and I didn't hear her at all. She was, I don't know, I really okay. didn't hear any knocking Okay, anything. so y'all were just in the room playing music loud. Yeah. Baby, do I look like I was just born yesterday? Do I look like that? Closed captioning provided by... You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Shay Michaels is suing her friend, Brina Marcini, in the amount of $269. Ms. Michaels claims she was supposed to share a hotel room with Ms. Marcini, but says the defendant locked her out, leaving her with no place to sleep. Ms. Marcini claims she didn't know the door was locked and says she had no intention of keeping her friend out. Ms. Michaels, you're suing Ms. Marcini for $269 representing the cost of a hotel room in Vegas. That is correct. So basically on a breach of contract. So how do you know each other? We go to college together. Okay. We're both in the same major, uh -huh. so we have a lot of classes together. So were you friends? Yeah. Didn't you plan a trip to Vegas together? We did. Tell me about this uh, trip to Vegas. You had planned it for a long time is, is what I thought I remembered. Yeah. Okay, so we save our money, what, every month we put away a little bit of money mm -hmm. for the trip until we go. What you were saving, what was that supposed to cover? It was going to cover the hotel, um, any shows that we wanted to go to. Um... What about the plane ticket? Did you fly into Vegas? Yes, it also okay. covered the plane ticket. Okay, so how much money did you save to go to Vegas? 1000 was for the hotel. Um, I want to say another 1000 for... Uh, everything else, the plane tickets. We get to Vegas and what happens? We decided to go to a club and we we went the whole nine yards and trying to get ready, looking right. great. As soon as we showed up at the club though, a guy was all over her. Right. Well, it wasn't right away. We had a long time that we were hanging out together, we were right. drinking together, we were bonding, we were laughing. Who was drinking and bonding? Both of us, we were both drinking. With each other? Yes. She was giving him a lap dance. <laughs> She's exaggerating. I was just dancing. She I was, was just having a good time. Did you, did you ever put your butt on his lap? No, I Any didn't. Any part of your body on his lap? No, we were just... Just dancing. So he's yeah. standing up dancing too then? Yeah. And then what happened? She left me. She said uh, she was going to go up to the hotel room with him for like an hour and she'd be back down. I knew Anything could have happened to you in that room. I told her that I was going to go to the room, and she said it was OK. Yeah, but you, the man could have killed you in the room. Coming up. Y'all were just in the room playing music loud. Yeah. Baby, do I look like I was just born yesterday? Closed captioning provided by. 
You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Supreme Justice is back with the case of Shea Michaels, who is suing Brina Marcini for travel expenses. So she goes up to the hotel room, and you know she goes up there with this guy, and then what happens? I started texting her, because I'm exhausted, and I'm wasted, and I just want to get into my own bed. You have been drinking too much, too. Oh, yeah. All right, so you're texting, no answer. You're texting, no answer. Then what mm -hmm. happened? Uh, I actually went up to the room, and I tried to get in, but it had been deadbolted. Deadbolted? We were listening to music, and I didn't hear her at all. She was, I don't know, I really okay. didn't hear any knocking Okay, anything. so y'all were just in the room playing music loud. Yeah. yeah. Baby, do I look like I was just born yesterday? <laughs> do I look like that? So then what happened? I went back down to the casino and played some slot machines. Do you have, uh, did you bring any uh, evidence of the text messages? It did. Let me see these text messages. Hey, I'm done for the night, so I'm gonna come up now. Is that cool? And then the next text. Can you let me in? And then the next text. Oh my God, you're taking forever. <laughs> and then the next text. Brina! You didn't get any of these because you were busy dancing in the room. <laughs> then what did you do? I just kept playing the slot machines. And then at four... Four o'clock now in the morning, they just listening to music upstairs. Yeah. I got rid of the guy. I told him that I was tired and I wanted to sleep. And at that point, I realized that the door was both locked and I opened it. And uh -huh. I tried to call her to make sure that she could come in. And she had her own key. I just thought that she was partying as well. Like, as I thought that she was having a good time. Judge Karen's verdict when Supreme Justice returns. Promotional consideration provided by... You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. And then when did you realize that she had left you? When I woke up and I... What, what time did you wake up? Around 10, 10 a.m. When I went downstairs to have breakfast and I realized that she wasn't in the room and she wasn't nowhere near me and right. all her stuff were gone, I was like, what happened? I had no idea that all of this went down. I just thought that she was going to come in the room and sleep. Right. Well, so, you know, maybe you ought to think hard about who you choose as friends. Yes. Because I couldn't even imagine that my friend would have just picked up some man downstairs and said, girl, I'm gonna be upstairs in the room and I'm not gonna let you back in. That is not a friend. And her lackadaisical attitude, maybe it was a good thing she showed you who she is. Because this is who she is right here. We spent months planning this. It right. was just supposed to be us. Right. It was supposed to she be She was looking weekend. to get laid in Vegas. <laughs> that was the bottom line. Yeah. All right, and it was a breach of contract. You should have been responsible. You were irresponsible. You're going to pay for it in the amount of $269. Judgment for the plaintiff. Good luck to you. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is ordered to pay $269. The judge is right. You're not the kind of friend that I need. I just want my money back. Next time I go on a trip, I'm going to pick a friend that knows how to have fun. This has been a production of Entertainment Studios.